In this video, I want to show you how to make a chart in an access table. So this is a new feature. It's only available in the newest versions of Microsoft Access. So I'm going to go into this customer's form. All right, so here we have a standard customer's form that I made with the auto form. And I'd like to have a chart over here that would show the sales for each customer by shipper. So we're going to go back into design view. And I'm going to make the chart a little bit wider over here on the right hand side to make room for the chart. Okay, good. So now we have that extra space. So I'll pick in the form design menu. Notice now we have a new choice. It's called insert modern chart. So I really believe it's only available on the newest versions of access. You won't see it on the older versions of access. And I have um, office 365. So I have a newer version. I'm going to pick on insert modern chart and I'll do a column chart and we'll do a cluster column. You can see there's other chart types. Good. So I want to move my mouse here and click right over here. Okay, so then you start to build the chart. So this time I'm going to use a query and I'll use a query that's called orders and shippers. So the axis is what's going to appear, what's going to appear at the bottom. So in this case, I'll pick on the company name, which is the shipper's name. You can add a legend if you like. I'm, I'm not going to add a legend onto this one. And then the field that I really want to uh, plot for the number is the order amount. And it'll do a sum here. Although here you can pick different calculations when you pick in the pull down. So let's see what the chart looks like so far. I'm going to go back and uh, close the window here. Now I'm going to run the chart. So I'm going to right click and I'll do form view. Okay. So I want it so that it's going to be specific to the uh, customer that we have. Notice how it's not really changing. I want to have the data labels there as well. So let's enhance the chart. I'm going to go back into design view. So if you don't see this window, just click away from the chart and then click on it again. And then that window will show up again. So the data is fine. Now, let me affect the format a little bit. So for the display name, I'm going to actually get rid of that here. And what we'll do it as the chart title. And then I'm going to turn the data labels on here. Okay, so you notice where I checked the data labels right there. That'll be the numbers on the chart. Now I'm going to close the window. And now we see the numbers. Uh, let me make this chart a little bit bigger. Okay, good. Now, now let's do some doctoring of the chart here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click away from the chart. I'm going to right click on the chart and then I'll pick on properties and that'll open up the properties window for the chart. Okay. So all uh, notice how there's many things we can change about the chart under the format tab. Uh, so for the chart title, I'm going to make it say, sum by shipper. So you really have to look at these properties on the format tab. And there's many, many things that will affect that chart. So then down here, I have the, uh, the primary values. And we, we could change the range there. But I would like to change the format to currency format. See where it says primary values, access format, I'll click there, and I'll make a currency format. So that was an important choice. You can see there's many other things I can change about the chart as you scroll down. And then here's going to be an important feature. I want that chart to reflect the uh, shippers for each individual customer here on the form. So I'm going to pick in the data tab. And then you would really want to put the, the child fields and the master fields. So it knows which shippers go with which customers. So I'm going to go ahead and click there. I'll pick in the three dots. And then it did actually find the common field. So this is the field that's on the form. And this will be the field that's on the table or the query that drives the chart. So it did find the customer ID there. Otherwise, I could pick a different field if, not, if that's not the right one. But that is correct. I'll click OK. Now let's go ahead and close this uh, properties window. I'm going to close this window for the chart. And now let's go ahead and run the uh, form. So I'll pick on form view. 
Okay, good. So it says sum by shipper. The numbers look a lot better here. Uh, we see the numbers uh, are in currency format. Now, if I go to the next record, the numbers are changing for each different customer. And that's what I was hoping for. Okay, so let's go back to design view. And then it's called a, a modern chart here. Something probably within the past uh, couple months. And uh, I have Office 365. So I have the newest version of Access. It, it probably is not available in the newest version, in the older versions of Access. All right, so that's a great new way how we can add a chart onto a forum here in Access. I'm going to go and uh, close it and save my work.